Ugh. She must have been kind of hungry. Gee, you think? <laughs> the heat. Mm, it's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was euphoric. Awkward. But I've... I've killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? The beast took over. It happens. Beast? What is that? Why couldn't I stop myself? Why did it feel so right? Shh. Calm down. It's alright. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was trapped. Trapped! Thought I'd never escape, but I killed a man. I have to get out of here. Who are you? My name is Lily. Lily? You're the one E told me about. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? He asked me if I knew anything about Thin Bloods, which is how I found you. I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A Thin Blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Go on. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider Thin Bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a Thin Blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E, but I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I, I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. You should go see E. He said he forgives you. He wants to see you. E doesn't hate me anymore? No, quite the opposite. You should talk to him. I'll go see him. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Oh, about tonight, what I did? Please, don't tell E. It's not my fault. I couldn't control it. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. What's my silence worth? I don't have anything to give. Ah, forget I asked. Goodbye, Lily. Oi. Why'd you have to go and let that bitch out? There's one less spill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to doing that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. No more! What can I do to set this straight? Now that you let that one go, I have to go out and find someone else to fill the chair. But it's kind of chilly out, and now that my co-pilot's been devoured, I'm flying solo. I need a new body. Find another donor, and I'll whip up a fresh batch. Where should I look? The bitch who owns me and this place runs the asylum. Lots of young, stupid blood there. Not like the putrid, stinking, vagrant blood we so often get. Don't shed any at the club, though. The missus, she don't appreciate it. Fine. I'll check out the asylum. Goodbye. Oi. So, we have to go find a new person for that dude. So he can keep harvesting blood and selling it to people like me. Well, vampires like me, I suppose. But before we go get into all that business, let's go see what we can do about Carson and the tattoo parlor and this McGee case and whatnot. <sighs> Excuse me. Not that I'm not having fun. Okay, so there's a tattoo parlor over here. Devil's Brand Tattoo. Let's go see what's inside. Hopefully no dead bodies or or anything too freaky. Okay. Nothing, nothing. 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 Anything in the register? Any money, perhaps? Nothing. Ugh, that's disappointing. No money in the register? That's lame.
Okay. Well, that's a little odd. Why is it lagging? Computer's lagging a bit. Hello? Hello? What the hell? He doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Can I help you? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? No. Actually, I'm looking for him myself. You are? You are? Isn't that a coincidence? Why are you, lo you looking for him? Why is my computer freaking out? Ugh. Sorry, guys. Um, he's just an old friend. Oh, I, I see. Could you answer a few questions for me? I am delighted to. Why don't you come down to my office and we'll talk about it? Where are you located? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Sounds good. I'll be there in a little.